Hello everyone, Advance and 64 here. Welcome back to another episode of Zelda Minish Cap. Uh, the last episode, well, a lot of things happened actually because, well, Vani has uh, taken um, control of the King of Hyrule and now has made all of the soldiers of Hyrule search for the Light Force. Legend just says that the power of the light was given to the humans by the Picori. Anybody by the Picori. I wonder if it really does exist. I mean, it's not like anyone's ever seen it. Eh, he does bring up a good point. Uh, in this episode, we're gonna be doing quite a lot, actually, but... When, what are we going to do? Eh, well... That's a good question. Because right now, I want... I think I'm going to show off some of Hyrule Town, and then we're gonna go back to... Um, that's a swamp once we know how to get past it. We're in the middle of a very important class right now, so I can't let you in. Hmm. But I'm a very important person, and I think people can learn from me. I have a sword. Therefore, I am very important. Hmm. That was, that was, uh, a mustache would met a guy strikes me as somewhat unrelevant. There's something fishy about this room, too. Hmm. What? <laughs> a hole in the garden leads to, sh uh, to a shelter of sorts. Not, but it's not like I'm trying to run off and save myself alone. Or anything. Just keep that in mind. You want to fizz kids so? Uh, oh, please. Oh, please, please. Apparently he has bad luck, but... Alright, luckily we had just the one that we needed. And let's see what's... This one does. Alright. A lot of this episode is actually going to be uh, comprising of uh, kid stone pieces, actually. Huh. Neat. Well, unfortunately, we can't go there yet because Lomon Ranch has kind of been sealed off. Uh, so, uh, that's so pretty, a perfect fit. Now, I uh, know we'll get lucky. So now this is a basically a private shelter for this guy to run off. Hmm. It doesn't look like we can actually do anything uh, right now for this. I mean, we could try duplicating ourselves right here and just let that bar fill. But it doesn't look like two links are enough to push it. To... So we're gonna have to weave that alone for now until we find some way to push uh, more. Hmm. It's a bit curious, indeed, but, alright, now, let's go in here, and wow, we got some people here. Mm, seeing this in forever would uh, start to be a bother. Mm. Uh, it's so nice to be here at last, and such a big town it is. Uh, we need to find a nice, um, a nice quiet place where we can settle down. Mm. Looks like we're gonna have to... Uh, we're gonna be uh, seeing those ladies again so, uh, later, but it doesn't look like we can do anything with them right now. And uh, huh. I think those are the ki uh, kids that actually were with the guy with uh, the kinstone pieces. Hmm. Hey, what do you know about that life force stuff? People are saying it's some kind of treasure that I could grant you any wish. Anyway, now the king is in a huge, mm, in a big huff and trying to find it. <laughs> It's strange, though. He never struck me as a greedy type before. It's almost like he's a different person now. Uh, well, yeah. I guess it would. I guess it would start to strike people off. I mean, uh, this uh, king has kind of been more like to the nice point, and didn't some well nor uh, nor uh, like didn't never really. Uh, did anything out of turn, so he was pretty. He was a pretty good uh, guy when it came to that. What a fit! Look at that, and you know what that means. Good luck for us. Uh, mm. Oh wow! I did not actually know that kid, kid, red kinstone pieces can actually uh, be in uh, pots. Eh, more you know. All right. Uh, that's the reason we're here uh, right now. Is mm -hmm. well, we can actually. Uh, sleep in these inns if we sleep here yeah. and unfortunately none of the uh, chests uh, have anything in it hi there and welcome to the ha um, happy health uh, are you need to risk it? I'm gonna take care of that and even throw out a present to boot 
and wow, forget it. So, uh, if the Ruby Room went to 100 Ruby Room, 400 Ruby Room, um, I think we can settle for 50 rubies. A cheap room it is, then. Up front, let's enjoy your stay. Hmm. It does look like a good cheap room, but, alright, might as well go. Then, I, I just love what happens whenever Link takes a nap with Ezlo. It's just like to the side, whenever he wants to wake him up, he just like, uh, wakes him up. It's pretty funny. But, let's see if we try to get the 400 ruby room. Eh? What's, uh, I'm, I'm pretty sure they'll just not let us in. Let, I forgot the actual dialogue of it. Nope, dang it. Okay. Well, that's just 100 rubies down the drain. At least we got another kinstone piece. Alright. But it's probably just gonna be another green one, so it's not really gonna matter. And green ones are the easiest to find. I think blue is the second easiest to find, and it's red and then. Yeah, I think that's all of them. There is gold ones, but that's like um, only ones that are for specific things. Alright, let's try that again. There we go. Well, now, um, and come from a good family, do, uh, do we? A uh, luxury room for 400 rubies. Small payment up front, please. What is th what's this, son? You got no cash. You come back when you uh, grown up and get a job. No, off with you. Shoo. What a dick. Okay. Like, you could at least have been like, oh, well, I'm so Oh, well, you can't get in here. You just need to, like, get some stuff. Like, more money. Look at it. Did I scare you? Hmm. And, uh, oh no, this is horrible. My cuckoos have gotten out. Can you catch them for me? Oh, yeah, sure, I'll help. Uh. Please catch two of them in 25 seconds, please. You, and you can't uh, go into buildings or leave town. Oh, I hate this so much. Alright, let's go ahead and get the cuckoos in. And we got a gold cuckoo. Let's bring that in. Oh, of course. Let's run off. Dang it. Come here. Cuckoo. Cuckoo. Come on, come on. No! Oh, come on! I got the cuckoo. Oh, and I pressed the button again. I got, I got something. You got six readers. Uh, I'm uh, helping others. Oh no, this is horrible. And uh, the cuckoo's have gotten up. Can you catch them for me? Yeah, so home. Please catch three of them in for in, in 25 seconds. All right. So I think we could just uh, give up on getting that gold one now. Now, gold ones, I believe, have a have a much easier time of getting out of your grasp, and I did not mean to throw that cuckoo. Oh my god. Oh my god. No, I have no time for this. Uh, come on, come on, come on. Okay, I literally have to hustle right now. Okay, cuckoo, 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 cuckoo. Come on, come on, come on. I can do this. No! Oh. Well, looks like I'm still missing a lot of cuckoos. One! You're missing one! Hate this girl. Alright. But let's see if there's anything else we can do in, in town. And this guy had a, um, some a can stone. Unless we. Uh, did we already do that? I think we did. Yeah, we did. Once. I think it was like an episode ago or so. And it looks like Beal set up shop here. So. Why are you going there? I think you're going to be my. I said I'm kind of big load I do. Hey, I just uh, put it in a bottle and, and good stuff. We'll have it when you drink it. Alright. Let's see what is in that. Oh, that white people. Alright, it's for people who want to get lucky. Hmm. It makes it easier to find kids' so pieces. Care to buy it? It's only 100 rubies. Care to buy some? Nope. We're going to eat well, people can. Alright, so let's see about the red pill. It makes your uh, quest so much easier. You know, make it quick uh, and just, uh, or you would make it just for you to find some parts. Gotta buy some? 
It's only 100 rubies. Nope. Really? Well, I'll keep looking. Alright, what about the screen one? Hmm? This is for only the most serious of collectors. It will make it easier for you to find mysterious shells. Care to buy it? It's 100 uh, rubies. I don't know, since we don't even know what uh, they do yet. What's the point of get, um, getting something that'll help me find things I don't know what uh, for? I want to know how to do stuff, thank you. Hmm. Why don't we go in here and start checking out these shops? Hmm. Oh! Oh, wow. Hmm. See, kids, that's why you don't stay up all night. That's... Oh, unfortunately... It looks like he has been knocked out cold. I can't really do anything about it, but why don't we try going into Minisize? Hmm. For some reason, I couldn't skip that. Let's see if I can now. Nope. Alright. I think this is our first using the jar, so... That's right, even some human objects are, are also in the Minish world. Those Minish may not look like much, but they're, uh, they are quite crafty. Hmm. Alright. Whoa. Apparently there is Minish on here. We, could, we couldn't really see it to it when we were at that size. Hey, hey, you're a Link, right? You're the one who brought mm, uh, the sword to uh, Master Merlin. Uh, uh, you're on the quest to help the princess, aren't you? I wish I could go on a quest. But uh, well, then who'd make uh, um, shoes for him? Uh oh, you, you need Pegasus boots? Why, uh, you're just in time. We made a pair just now uh, while Rem was asleep. But only Rem could uh, put the finishing touches on him. Uh, <laughs> that sleeping hit uh, is nearly impossible to wake up. If you want to wake him up, you'll need to uh, get an item from uh, Syrup's Hut. Uh, it's a bit uh, of a trick, but well, we've marked uh, on your map for you. Alright, uh, so now we have to go there. Let's see. And if we do that, we can find a way to wake him up. Oh. Alright. That's pretty neat. And... Uh, make sure you see how small you are. And... It looks like you're a bit taller than the Minish too, so... At the at that point, I guess you're kind of... Always like, taller, I guess, but... True, they're, you're only like a bit... Maybe two, three inches taller. Which isn't that much, but it's still something to take into consideration. Alright. I don't think there's anything else to really do. So, let's go and uh, go find Syrup Hut. Ugh. Ugh. Okay. Luckily, my cold has somewhat died down, so I'm not uh, as sick. I also, uh, off screen, did do a bit to get some kinstone pieces and. Huh. It appears that, um, this guy is back. Ma I lost my key. I can't get inside, and Sparky's inside the house. Well, if you just get his own pieces, you got it. Alright, let's see if we have it. Wow, luckily we just have that one. It's a good thing we spent 100 rubies in. Alright, let's see what this does. And. Is it a chest? I think it's a chest. Yep, it's a chest. Alright. It's pretty simple because it's right next to her house. And look at that. Nice work. I wonder what will happen. And she doesn't have uh, any concern pieces. What a pain. And I was thinking I was going uh, into, into town to sell all my milk. Huh. Well, now that it appears to be a hole uh, just the size of a um, minish, we can now enter it. Out to grow. And there we go. Now we can oh, uh, look around for the spare key. And we got the warm on ranch key. Now we can open up the ranch door. Alright, so we can't open it up like that. So we're just going to have to go back outside. And give Talon back the, the key. Alright. And back we get... Um, here we get... Uh, now we just talk to him. And... Ta -da, the key, yeah. Oh, our one or only spare key. I don't know how you got, uh, got this, but I can't thank you enough. Uh, tell me your name, kid. Link. That's a great name. If you ever need to go to Har uh, Lake Hallelujah, you're free to cut uh, through our house. Uh, yeah. Very sweet. Thank you very much, Link. Come visit us again. Hmm. 
All right, now I guess we actually feel pretty helpful. I mean, we just helped people get in their house, and, and I do not like getting locked out of my house. I can tell you that now. I literally hate it. You're really helping me out, kid. If you ever need, uh, if you ever want to go to Lake Harlan, use the shortcut out out behind our ranch. <laughs> Boo. Okay. It's pretty funny how they just have that one cow in, uh, in indoors and there's not like anything really there. But oh, we got a big wallet. Hmm. I didn't know there was multiple big wallets. <laughs> That's pretty hilarious. I never actually knew that. That's tranquil. Cool. Look at on all those cows. Look so delicious. What? 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 I never knew that. Apparently, someone just really, really likes to eat cows. It's horrible. Oh wait, we all do that. Never mind. We're all horrible people. Well, we don't have any dog food, so we can't feed this dog. It's a bit sad, but you know how it is. All right, let's go, and let's see if we can get into Syrup's hut or find a way in. Uh, doesn't look like there's any way in. Yeah. Huh. Let's see. And if there's a uh, there's a cave here, so we might as well enter it. And um, think we can't rule without the power of two of us. See. It's always good to have two of you. Uh, my only complaint is that my second self did not do that pose. It would have been amazing. I can fly or not. Well, hmm. looks like we're gonna have to find another way across. Let's go up here. And I believe there's a piece of heart around here. Yep, it is right there. But it doesn't look like we're gonna be able to get that anytime soon. So let's get out the paint of khaki, or khaki, and use that, and we can actually push this across now, and it's best if we do that. Alright, and now, uh, we can actually use the portal uh, to get across that, why well, don't we use that to see just uh, what is actually across, and it appears to be a cave, and it's just a little and we got a uh, red pinstone piece, that's nice. There we go. Now let's just climb back up and get across. All right. And now we can use that um, the whirlwind or the tornado that's just uh, kind of just standing there to fly and I think just fly right here. All right, perfect. Let's kind of put some of this glass so you can find anything. I was. I was like hunting for kinstone pieces for like 20 minutes off screen, and I only found one. Literally just one. Isn't that crazy? But, okay, now we can jump onto this whirlwind, and now what we're gonna want to do is just fly over this body of water. And now that we're over, we can just press cancel, that way we can just move faster. Alright, and now we can go down here, which is the way to uh, Sir Grab's hunt. Alright, and I was going to read that sign, but then I kind of opened because of the choo-choo. Great. Oh well. But it appears to be another entrance to Nemesis Woods, which is uh, exactly what we wanted because it said that it was at the top of Nemesis Woods. Inside, um, Inside the chest that we um, got from using one of the kidstones was well, another kidstone piece. So we used the kidstone piece to get a kidstone piece. So makes sense. Alright. But now, anything? Come on. Come on. I just want one. Nope. Okay, we can just enter here and let's talk. Oh, welcome. Care for some uh, Granny's homemade blue potion? One sip and you'll, uh, you're full of energy. Hey. Please, look around. Huh. Let's see about this, sir. Uh, yes, a fine choice, my dear. It's a limited time, uh, article. Uh, 
One whiff and you and you're wide awake. That's what I call a wake up mushroom. Uh, would you like to buy it for sixty rubies? You know I would like it to be free, but sure why not? Uh, all right. Uh, so we got the wake up mushroom. Uh, it's a it's nice. He said it chases away the sleepers. Okay. You got I oh, uh, fine goods. Uh, that my dear is a highly regarded homemade po uh, potion. Huh. Right here. Have we heard of any homemade blue potion with zip in your full of energy? Mm, fill a bottle and carry it uh, around. You will draw out at least 60 rubies. I think I'm not gonna buy any. for you, well, remember uh, that when you run out of uh, people later. <laughs> Alright, so, so let's go ahead and uh, go back to the cobbler so now we can, uh, so we can get our Pegasus shoes or boots. And all right, we can't go back our normal way because of the you know the water. And since Link can't swim, apparently a lot of people can't swim. It's not a very good thing. But all right, nope, nope, no, come on. Ah. All right, apparently we're gonna have to feel that way. I've got this. And I'll call me Mr. Video Game for nothing. No one calls me. That. But you can pretend they do. Alright. Now let's see. Can we get over? Come on. Come on. Nope. Not at all. Okay. Hmm. I know how to do this. I've done this before. For some reason, it's just not working. I don't think we can fly over the fence. Or can we? Can we fly over the fence? Nope. Of course. Well, that's one very good question now, because I know we can get over it, and we kind of we kind of have to because it's one of the biggest uh, quests in the whole game, and I definitely want to show that one up. <sighs> yeah, I'll be back for this later. I don't think I want to deal with this right now, and I don't think you guys want to deal with this right now. So let's just go back to Hyrule Town. All right. And let's go see the cobbler. And uh, yeah, I kind of do feel bad for him because, well, now he can't really, he doesn't really get much sleep. But sleeping on the job is never a good thing. All right, let's go back in and talk to Nish here. Hey, hey, I'm hit. There's another urgent business he should be working on. So please wake up as soon as you can. Time's a wasting. Oh, uh, you've done all we can yeah, with these shoes. You really need to go to sir, so, so we can put. Uh, yes, yes, okay, okay, yes. Okay, okay. Yes. I think you just have to talk to him. I think you, uh, you just have to talk to him. So these guys are literally useless. They just tell you one thing and you never see them again. That's okay. Eh. I don't really like those with our diminished either. So, let's just go ahead. And. Let's give him the mushroom. What? What is that terribly bad smell? No, wake up, mushroom. I should have guessed. It, so you woke me up. Thanks. I just remembered I have some urgent, uh, t uh, something urgent to do. Huh? What now? Uh, uh, there are, more, uh, are new shoes. You probably won't believe this, but I have a strange, uh, strange habit of making shoes in my sleep. Uh, so you must have come here because you wanted uh, some of my shoes, right? Tell you what, because you were nice enough to wake me up, you can have them. Hold on a second. Uh, hold on a second, though. I want to finish this one. Uh, I just want to finish this one last bit. Mm. It's kind of funny because he can't see the menace, so he thinks that uh, he does it in the sleep. Ah, uh, uh, there we go. Here, take this. Uh, take these. Ah. Sometimes I kind of wish I was doing this on a normal computer and not a laptop. These are my special Pegasus shoot boots. Uh, they're so light, it'll make you feel like you're practically walking on air. So now we got the Pegasus boots. All the buttons are to run fast in the wilds. Oh, I need to hurry up again. Oh, uh, working on that other special order. The king asked me to make him some shoes for Princess Zelda, you see. Thanks for waking me up. Uh, come back if you ever... Uh, I... 
if I can ever help you with shoe problems. Alright. Now we have the Pegasus boots, and I did not want to equip there, but there we go. Perfect. So now we can just start running faster, and this is my favorite way to uh, get around. So, since we now can run like the wind, why don't we go uh, see Swift Blade? Ah, oh, yes, you are the Pegasus boots, and you will seem to have more skill, too. Yes, I am ready to train you again. So, would you like to train here? Please. You will now uh, learn a new technique called the Dask Attack. First, you equip the Pegasus boots. Second, equip your sword. Third, run like crazy. That's all, young swordsman. Do you understand? Yes. Yes, yes. You are my finest student. Just equip your sword and Pegasus boots in any button you like. And, uh, but one must hear the technique and not just hear about it. That's why I must now position your body so I can demonstrate the technique. This is the simple sexual rule technique of training. Watch this. Mm, sweet I must feel weird whenever you get your body possessed. I definitely feel weird. Phew. Oh, you must try it yourself. Equip the Pegasus boots and your sword and don't run like crazy. And there we go. All you have to do is press A. Uh, yes, my work. You uh, you will learn quickly. I will uh, give you the this track as well. If you ever get to technique, you will learn it again by using the, uh, from the scroll. All right. So, so now we got the dash attack here. Run like uh, link the wind attack. All right. Let's see if we can get anything now. Come again when you can jump farther than any other. Mm. So now we have to uh, get uh, come back when we can jump farther than any other. It's weird because Link has this thing where he can't jump. Hmm. Looks like we're gonna have to be back. Uh, we're not gonna be here for another while. Oh well. Let's go ahead and just keep running. And let's go to the wilds. Let's see. Now. Now we got. We're back at Caster Wilds. And. Let's see. Now we can walk across like nothing ever happened before, and ooh, another king so piece. Nice. Okay, so now the wilds are not much of a problem. However, sometimes they can still be a problem because you still have the problem of getting uh, still sinking whenever you hit that. But whenever you start sinking, just uh, just press A and you'll stop stop sinking. You'll just start running across. All right. So, I'll continue uh, playing this in the next episode. Thank you all for watching. Have a great day.